Hello YouTube, this is Fortnite Fails JJ from Channel JJ coming back to you with another video. And this is about Queen's Flip and Hassan Campbell fighting with each other over Jim Threat Jones. Here's uh, my thoughts. I was looking at this. Well, first I actually looked at Hassan Campbell's video. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before you even get into this, remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Share this video and subscribe. Those would really help out the pet channel. Those are two of the most helpful things that you can do. Also, like the video. Follow me on my social media as well. Now, anyway. I was looking at this and I was like, okay. First, it was Hassan's take that I saw. And I, 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 when I was listening to him, I thought there was an interview going on. I come to this dude's page that I don't see an interview. Maybe I was misunderstanding it. If I look back at it again, maybe I'll finally understand what he was saying. I, I, I missed I missed out on that part. I misunderstood him on this piece. It wasn't an interview. Queen's Flip has uploaded a pre-recorded video of just him, not not Jim Jones. But Queen's Flip has uploaded this video about Jim Jones talking about how hey. Why does people seem to hate Jim Jones? He's going through all these different scenarios on why people hate Jim Jones and how people keep on trying to hate him so much that they're calling him a rat and how they hate him so much that they're now starting to make fake paperwork instead of saluting this dude. And okay, I'm willing to concede that hey, maybe the paperwork is fake. I want to concede that. I don't know nothing about that. Could be, could be not. I wouldn't know. But, as Hassan Campbell said, forget the paperwork. We don't need to look at paperwork. How many times do you keep on seeing the same thing happen? Somebody gets brought to um, the feds, um, arrest everybody. They bring them to trial. You look at the transcript, Jim Jones' name keeps on coming up. You look at uh, what these witnesses or people that are on trial keep on saying, keep on saying Jim Jones. You listen to conversations that get leaked, it's Jim Jones talking about, let's do some criminal activity. Remember when Jim Jones was talking about um, knocking over his, um, uh, what, Takashi 6 9 and he, Jim is still walking around after that? Remember that? I do. After a while, we've got to say, patterns are forming here. Queen's Flip wants to be like, he ain't no snitch. Do you see any paperwork? Do you see any paperwork? The only paperwork is here is fraudulent paperwork. So you're telling me that 50 Cent ain't a snitch? You, 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 that's what you're selling me. And as a matter of fact, there was paperwork with 50. Nobody has come to the front and said and talked about whether or not it was legit or not. But fake paperwork has come out on 50. Whether it's fake or not, I don't know. But without the paperwork, we can say that this dude's a snitch. Every, literally everybody that he beefed with was in jail. If not because of that situation over something. The only person that seemed to have gotten out from that is Ja and Benzino. And Ja had to serve his time in jail. And Benzino went back and forth to courts. Gotti boys almost had themselves life in prison. These people were put in, put through the ringer. Those are the only people that I've seen to come up, come up out of that. We're not going to talk about how oh, fifty snitches, uh, fifty cent is obviously not a snitch. <laughs> we wouldn't say that. There's been too many times that the same thing has happened. Somebody beefs with fifty, they end up in jail. Same thing here. People, somebody runs with Jim Jones, they find themselves in jail. But Jim Jones comes out of it, despite the fact that they're doing dirt together. Not to mention, it's not like we kn we know that this dude wouldn't do this because he's a man of integrity. There ha literally has to be paperwork sitting in front of my face to believe anything different. Because as Hassan Campbell has said, let's look at how... Because of Jim Jones, people are ending up dead because you wouldn't even get this dude an apartment. You wanted him to move into your mansion 
or whatever big house that you had where he'd have to follow your rules. He'd have to come, go to bed, go come in, go, go to bed, eat on your terms. That's what have had to happen. And he didn't want to do that. Reasonably so. It's not like you don't have the money. It's that it's just that A, you wanted him to do more protection for you. If he's here with you all the time, of course he can do more work for you. But it shouldn't have been that. He's your he's a comrade. He's your partner in crime. Why in the world are you not helping this dude? The moment that he found out you found out his life was in danger. You should have been the first one up. You shouldn't have even... He's like, okay, we're either going to take this to the streets and handle this, or I'm going to get you out. He, he shouldn't have even had to ask. But he did. And when you finally said did something, or offered to do something, it was half behind at best. And let's look at Trey Ray. You mean to tell me a whole organization... That was doing whatever the heck it was doing. Robbing. Robbing. Killing. Stealing. Selling dope. These these are the things that this organization was doing. And we already know how sloppy you are. Because you just talked about how, hey. If you do this. Um, Takashi 69 security is going to slowly walk away. And Takashi is going to be by himself. Therefore, we can take him out on our own. We already know how sloppy you are because of because of that phone call. You mean to tell me you didn't do nothing that was going to put you in jail? Nothing that whole time you was there? And what? A, let's talk about the time that you went to jail, well, along with two other people. You didn't bail him out. Once again, you're really telling me that this dude didn't snitch when he has the money to bail out the people that was doing dirt with him. And would have made that money back. But you didn't do it. Because you didn't care. That's not somebody that has loyalty. At all. Whatsoever. That's not a person that's going to stand by somebody. I wouldn't want that dude to have my back. Because I know that he's going to be running to the hills the first chance he gets. It's not, it's not a stretch to say that Jim Jones snitched. It's not a jump to say that he's snitching now. As um, and as Hassan Campbell said in that video, with when he was talking about JoJo Capone and um Jim Jones, JoJo Capone was going over state lines with guns in his car for Jim Jones. Didn't get paid for it. Again, no integrity. This is what this dude is, but we're supposed to believe that the moment that he didn't, um, the cops didn't, um, offered him a deal, he didn't take that? That's what you're trying to tell me? It's not realistic. Whatsoever. Obviously, he is a snitch. Obviously, he is a dirtbag with no integrity whatsoever. It's whatever helps him out. He's willing to do it. Clearly, I don't know. understand why we'd even have to argue that. And the only reason why this dude's associating with you, Flip, it's not because you're friends. I'm quite sure of that. It's because he can't have his songs played on the radio. That's what's going on. And he doesn't know the social media thing. He needs somebody that made it on his own on the social media. Because if Jim Jones tries social media, he's going to die. That's it. Now, I also wanted to um, talk about how, hey, this Queen's Flip and Hassan Campbell beef that's going on. I think Hassan Campbell, when he went at Queen's Flip, he pulled the ripcord too quick. I understand what he was saying, but he did that too quick. Same thing with Kwame Brown. When Hassan Campbell went at Kwame Brown, I understand that. He went out at that too quick. Be it, I don't understand why you guys didn't understand that thing with Hana, Kwame Brown. Because I understood that immediately before Hassan Campbell even said anything about that. This is dude's boule. 
if you did not understand that Zabule Kwame Brown wasn't going to be still working with the Bule when he was on the social media living his second career, you you guys are crazy. In the, in the industry for a decade making millions of dollars. That dude's not Bule. <laughs> that dude's really for the people. Right. Now, okay, if you guys wasn't up with conspiracy theorists variety, then okay, that would make sense. Other than that, I don't want to hear nothing. It doesn't make any sense. There is no way that you guys can justify, oh yeah, man, Kwame's legit in my mind. Unless you're telling me that you did not come from the conspiracy theorist pool. This dude supposedly went to war with everybody that was on TV, was running around accusing people of rape, and then come to find out he had his own rape and sexual assault thing in the closet, and nobody brought that up, and we're still saying that, hey, Kwame's legit. He's for the people. Meanwhile, the whole industry was supposedly trying to destroy this man, never brought up the rape that he supposedly did anyway 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 we're off that I already addressed that in another video if you want to know that go go watch that now where was I oh yeah 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 Queenswood Hassan Campbell they're beefing I understand why Hassan Campbell put the report when he did but I still think he did it too early because but but I do understand why he was mad at Queen's Flip. Because, I mean, let's get it real here. He might say, yes, this dude's my friend. And I, when I brought this dude that was slandering you, I didn't believe him. And I said something against him when he actually said this. I could be EDP. EDP 445. And I can get on that Queen's Flips platform and if my and I would walk away with a fair amount of people saying, Yeah, I guess this dude was right and people were wildin' if um EDP wasn't doing something that was so crazy. So crazy, so wild and so out there. He was getting his R. Kelly on. Queen's Flip does not know how to argue. And I immediately noticed that when I saw that interview with Benzino. That was the first time I heard of Queen's Flip. First time. So looked at the interview and I was like, this dude can't argue, this dude can't debate. And I felt that Benzino was right. I was like, yeah, but Benzino saying it's right is legit. But getting on his platform isn't a challenge. If I'm Benzino, the reason why I would want to get up there is because that's the path path of least resistance the widest audience least resistance absolutely that's that's the path i would want to go down and he did do that i mean if they go those guys really are friends congratulations for them but i mean if i want to do something i can be wrong i can be wrong dead wrong but i want to um get on a platform and argue that i'm right other than my own Get on Queen's Flip, because he's the easiest person to get past if you're trying to argue against them. I understand why Hassan Campbell was mad at him inviting Sainetta onto the platform. If you're... You have to be some sort of master debater. If this dude's really slandering you, calling you a pedophile, that this and that, and your man invites him on... Your man better be trying to light light a fire under that dude. I don't want to hear, oh, well, I mean, I, I don't believe that. I don't think that's true. Meanwhile, your audience is getting this weak sauce rejection from you because you're not, you're not talking about how, oh, I know this is not true because X, Y, and Z. You're just saying, more or less, I, I spoke to the dude. He said no, and I don't believe that. That's pretty much what you're saying. You're not, you don't provide good enough resistance at all. 
Also, enough with this roundabout dissing that you're doing at Hassan Campbell. If you disagree with Hassan Campbell and you want to argue a point of Hassan Campbell's made, invite Hassan Campbell the same way you brought up Sayonetta. Because you think that you should have brought up Sayonetta, you think there was no problem. Because after all, you did say that you don't believe what, Hassa, what Sayonetta is saying is true. Then bring up Hassan Campbell and let him express his point. Let you express your point about Jim Jones. But we already know that your point, whatever it is that you're going to say, is going to be inferior to what Hassan Campbell says. And you're just going to say, oh, well, it's your PTSD. Oh, you're just trying to make um, some noise, some money off the negativity. That's all. That, that's, what, that's what you're just going to try to say. You're going to deflect instead of answering the question. Because at the end of the day, it's been established. You don't need paperwork in order for, a, to be a, for it to be established that, hey, this dude's either a snitch or more than likely a snitch. Just because there's fraudulent paperwork does not change the fact about Jim Jones' track record at all in the least bit. Stop acting like it does. And you're saying, because he, and he did mention Hassan Campbell, he did sneak this in when he was talking about those likes. When he said that, I immediately knew he was talking about Hassan. That's actually why Hassan made this video, I'm pretty sure. And said that I didn't show up any paperwork. What I said was to look at the transcripts. Because he was also probably trying to diss Hassan Campbell with that as well. And I agree, bro. He didn't say, he didn't show no paperwork, because he was like, I don't know if this is real or not, and I don't need that to damage my reputation. Same thing with Doggy Diamonds and Fat Joe. He was like, yeah, man, this paperwork's been brought to my attention a long time ago. I didn't do it because I was like, yeah, we, I don't know if this is real or not, and I don't want this to damage my reputation. Heck, I believe, no, actually, I believe Hassan Campbell's like, you. that's not even something you should do. Forget my reputation. Um, you don't just get paperwork and be like, out of from nowhere and be like, I'm going to present this to the public and you decide for yourself if it's real. He's like, nah, that's not cool. Just look at the dude's track record. The dude's a slimy bastard that seems to be able to get out of any situation despite the fact that he's buried up into his eyeballs with arrestable offenses doesn't make any sense to me at all but yeah as i said before if you that serious about it if you believe in what you're saying that much debate him debate Hassan campbell go through the points one by one heck you don't even have to say his name just make a video talking about how he yeah despite the fact that he's been running with the law three times and then about two three times his transcripts has come Transcripts have come out where his name's been mentioned and he didn't get arrested. It doesn't mean that he's he's a snitch all of a sudden. Or invite him onto the platform the same way you did Sinetta, like I said again. You're not going to do that. Anyway, I'm out. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the situation. If you if you get um your friends get caught up in the law three times and somehow you get your way out of it. Despite the fact that you're doing the same dirt that they're doing, and in some cases you've been caught on the record doing that dirt. Does that mean that you're a snitch if you for some reason don't go to jail? Or does it mean that you're just amazingly lucky? You got a short shoe, a horseshoe when you're behind. <laughs>